hi welcome back to nature inspired uh today we are talking about well we're actually standing in plot three as you know would have done we would have labeled our plots one two three four and five and five pumpkin right so this is plot three this is the this is where we tried um, scotch bunny peppers for the third time but we've removed those and we have planted a new set of scotch bunny peppers the ones that we had before these they didn't do well um, the maximum that we got from that plot was about 450 pounds in one week and that was only once and then the plot just went down the we had a lot of blossoms but we had a lot of blossoms to we had a lot of blossoms um on, on on those trees there was a lot of blossoms there were a lot of blossoms but they they didn't turn into fruits so they died um and we suspect that it was the fight on we suspect that we were using phyton on it very regularly as we said before we, that was our magic fungicide silver bullet <laughs> so whatever was happening whatever was happening we um whatever was happening we would just turn to that see what But we were told recently by a specialist that the copper components of the phyton can actually cause us to lose the blossoms. So once the, once the plants start blossoming, we should not be using the phyton. And um, solcox. Well, and solcox as well. Now the old trees. So we're just doing a little scouting which we often do. Um, this is how we stay on top of things so we know how the plants are supposed to look. We've learned that over time and so if we see any variation from that we know that something is wrong. It might need some sort of treatment or try to figure out what we are doing wrong or what we need to do to correct these issues so for me this tree these two trees here look very lovely but what I see this curling 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 up which is a I'm not saying it is a sign of only the virus but it is one of the signs of the virus so we are treating the seal with star, but we'll continue to do that. Um, and then we'll watch to see how the new leaves are looking as they come out. But um, they seem okay so far. Then I noticed this one blossom. These blossoms here turning a different color. So they are dying. So we look for these little things, I mean, everything isn't always something, but we have to scout to see what's happening. This tree now, I have to check Google to see what's happening, but it looks like magnesium deficiency. And so we'll have to correct that because the tree, as you see, is not as, and the blossoms falling now. Blossoms drying up. I don't see if there are any fruits at all. So there are no fruits and look at the blossoms. See? All the blossoms are drying up. Uh -huh. So something is definitely wrong with this tree. Um, if you look on this side as well we just see dry blossoms all over. 
So these are just dried, dried up blossoms. So we need to figure out what's happening with that and what's causing that. But it's look, it looks like some nutrient deficiency at this moment. But trusted Google. And this is a quick. Will tell us. We call it a quick scan. Tell us. So we use Android the, phone. We use the, the photo search feature. And then we try to find an image that looks similar to it. And then figure out what's happening. So under this? Yeah. What sort of deficiency is it? So uh, Google is saying that it might be a deficiency of magnesium and calcium. And this is just our initial checks while in the field. Um, most often than not, uh, the answers that we get here correspond with what we get from the agronomist. So probably just send one of these, these pictures to, to one of the agronomists and then they could probably assist us further with, with what's happening with it. Well, how it really works though is like other farmers would have had similar situations on their farm they would post similar things and that's how you get like a yeah it's usually time. like a a group of persons who would post their own questions and other persons would answer from it or sometimes you find like some manuals yeah that could give you some information as well so google actually provides a wide array of references then and experiences mm -hmm. that you could read up on and check on just to allow you to have that quick reconnaissance quick input as to what could be the possible reason Alright, so one major challenge that we have with plot three is the if you realize we have a lot of plants that are smaller than the others. Now this is because we had to replant a lot of the plant and some of them still didn't come back. Um the holes seem to be blocked. The, 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 the emitters are blocked very easily. So so, I guess we need to adjust the filter and also maybe clean the hose more often. But these hose are pretty new, but they are blocked very, very easily. So, that is a one challenge that we have here. We cleared some of the hose and replanted, but then we still had a few that didn't take. So, we have a lot of empty spaces. Down here actually of people. Right up the place. Mm -hmm. Down there. Actually of people's but I'll bless them now. Hmm? Dry up. Like the one out there. But they only here look they have some kind of little purple spots. Mm -hmm. Like that, you know what that. But this part is definitely like the one up there so. Mm. See? The blossom. Right. What is that thing? Hmm? Oh, I didn't never check Google, but that's another thing. 
Go and check it. This now. <laughs> you can guess what this is. So, you see the molting? Molting. Two color leaves. That's what you call molting. And this is typical of the the mosaic virus. Um, and this entire tree look sick. But the leaves are not yet deformed. It's just the molting. So let's hope we can get it back. Well, we won't get back these leaves, but let's hope that the new leaves will be better. They won't be affected. I'm going to try to get some small tugs so we can start tugging the trees. Mm -hmm. We actually planted black uh, black tree this plot we actually cut the pepper trees and then replanted pretty quickly so we still have a few roots still in the ground that we we try to remove them it's a nice tree we can hmm? any the leaves it's a nice tree but uh, you can't see <laughs> you can't see I'm gonna start curling, huh? Mm, what them look different. You can know they look different. And they're nice and shiny and bright. So how many you trees? Some calcium too. Because you can see the, the bubbling of the leaves. Mm -hmm. Which is said to be a a sign of calcium deficiency. Okay. You remember how many trees we have here? We planted 5,000 planted 5,000 and then how much we got to replace it? 15 trees. I want to need it. Yeah. How much? I planted 14. It's my calculator. Not yet. <laughs> 15. So about 1,900. And we planted those back out. And some of them died, um, so we probably have 5,000. I think 5,000 because if we planted 5,000 and we replanted 2,000, that means the 2,000 dead, yeah, because we wouldn't have space. It's about 4,000 then, yeah. So this should be about 4,000 trees. So this should give but us the 1,000 pounds, pounds per week, but note. This plot is planted with a single on the bank. Yeah. Not like plot two. Plot two has two on each bank. So this one has single. But as we walk through, we can see. You see this tree? Can you spot the paper plant? As your weed, as your pear, a pure weed. Weed again. That's the way I plant weed seed. <laughs> Wrong weed. <laughs> <laughs> But I still think planting them single, they call it single profile or single file. Single file. Single file. The disadvantage is that the trees are too exposed to the sunlight. Now, 
Kann er Feuer? Ja, mach so ein Team. Mm -hmm. Look at that! Do you know what it is? Take your ass off. I'm scared to touch him. I'm not going to bite you. I don't want to touch him, Cranny. Ah! It's <laughs> nasty, is it? Jesus, God. What's the purpose of those? No, all them impact the ecosystem. So, this is the work of the our friend, the slug. The slugs. They have eaten down entire trees. See? All of them eat up. Enough trees. And then, enemy number one. What is this, this right here? I don't know the scientific name. <laughs> Whis. <laughs> <laughs> this. Uh, can start one of these can can tie up an entire section <laughs> like this travels an entire row <laughs> and spring off and all of these going to go somewhere and tie up something mm -hmm. it will take you out enemy number one so for plot three based on our little recce we realized that there's some evidence of the mosaic virus so we will continue to treat for that um, the slugs are a challenge there's there are a lot of slugs in this section and the the weeds in particular the wisp they are a real challenge because they grow from the holes in the plastic so we also well I guess we just have to try to weed as much as possible for that the the holes that are blocked we will adjust the filter and also try to clean the holes more often than we already do um, maybe run some citric acid through it so we'll have to deal with those things so but all in all plot three is doing well the trees are they're big and coming in. See, big and most of them are doing well and blossoming and so. So we are happy with flat three. We just need to fix those those little challenges and try to maximize this section. But I feel like we waste the land. <laughs> Should have done two to the back. <laughs> Mm. But we'll see it goes still and do a true assessment once the trees come up and they start to, to bear and um, produce. So thank you for watching our video. Continue to like, subscribe if you haven't yet done so and share this video. And leave a comment like we are looking forward to your comments. Thank you.